Oh, is that right? You want to give Sarah some space. You're such a coward. Is that Jonathan? He's going on another business trip. Do I have to spell it out for you? You've just told Sarah that you are her father. Now is the time to start behaving like one. Suit yourself. Business trip my foot. Did you tell him Sarah's been like a zombie all week? Not sleeping properly, not eating well. Of course I told him. We'll just have to drop everything and make sure she doesn't resort to something desperate. I'll be OK. Uh, Sarah, your dad had to go on a business trip, but he won't be gone long. I don't know who you're talking about. Your father's good for nothing. I'm ashamed to call him my son. Let this be a lesson to you, Sarah. The only person you can depend on is yourself. And us. Let's have breakfast. You're going out? I'm bringing confinement suit for Christine. Still no sign of Benny. <sighs> Still nothing. You're already alone. <laughs> no one got duty. Dominic will happily assemble his troops and invade his territory. Don't be so drama. I know what to do. You will know what to do? Then why you become friends with Li Yue? She's helping that Dominic, right? Another battalion ready to attack and Benny. And my is nowhere. I told you long ago, don't make friends with Li Yue. And you told me, you told me. At least I'm doing something. You better use your connections to find Benny. So la. Well, I should get ready for work soon. How are you going to spend your day, Sarah? Hang out here? Absolutely not. Go out and do something. It'll take your mind off that useless father of yours. I suggest you go back to work. Go back to work? Mum, are you bonkers? You wanted to go back to working with Evelyn. It's a perfectly sane idea. The fact is, Evelyn is your birth mother. If I were you, I'd jump at the chance to get to know her better. Won't it be weird? She hasn't even called me since that day. It was an emotional moment for you. You may want to get that out of your system first. Sarah, I see you and Evelyn bonding together over a carpentry project, working on the design, construction, teak wood. It's the perfect opportunity to build bridges, not walls. Being very pushy, Mother. Sons are useless. The bond between mother and daughter is unbreakable. Look at me and Rose. Call her Sarah. I guess I could. Bad idea. Very bad idea. Why didn't you tell Sarah no? Has to happen sooner or later, right? You don't even want to talk to me about her. Now you think you can act like this, okay? She's my intern, I'm her boss. Work is work, so what's the problem? You're just avoiding the issue. Nothing will happen. La. You listen to me, OK? Since your confession to Sarah, you spend three hours at the gym every day, then have one meal after that, and stuff for the rest of the day. Well, thanks for your concern. I'm on top of it. I'll see you later, OK? Hmm? Hey. Hi, Mom. Where's Aaron? Ah, uh, he's in the hospital resting. I can't wait to see him. When's he coming home? Very soon, okay? Hmm. I know. Why don't you make Aaron a welcome home gift? Yeah, I'll make Aaron one of your special handicrafts. Only you can make. I know just the thing. All right, let's do it. <laughs> go on, go on. Hey, we should sit down. Uh. Go. Nelly, drop off some soup. Can I warm it up for you? Oh, I want it super hot, please. All right. You know, I... Uh, I don't feel good about leaving Aaron behind. They have to keep him under observation. It's routine. Now, can I have my soup, please? One hot soup for one hot mom coming up. <laughs> Are these yours? What's it to you? Hey! Clear your mess. The rubbish bin is over there. The cleaners can do it, right? Well, the cleaner is not here. And you have a pair of hands, right? Yes, boss. Sure. 
boss. Oh, oh. Oh. Hey, hey, I heard that, huh? How come they're not in school? Good question. They are always loitering around the estate, being a nuisance to everyone. And if I'm not wrong, huh? They're the same ones responsible for the shoplifting incident and the shopping mall nearby. Is it? Hmm? Nothing but troublemakers. The next time I catch them, I talk. Mm. I think you better leave it to the police to handle it. We'll see, we'll see. Wow, you look half dead. Oh, so worry about Benny, I didn't get any sleep at all. It's been a week. No call, no text, no nothing. Doesn't he know that we are all worried about him? He's a grown man. How can he be so irresponsible? Oh, you know what? I literally don't care anymore. If and when Benny finally shows up, I'm gonna strangle him with my bears. Oi, what's wrong with you? Ma, he's not a child. He has a phone, right? He knows how to use one. Just call or text me. Send me an email or something. He's an IT specialist. Wait. Unknown caller. Answer, answer. Maybe it's the police. Hello? Benny? Uh, are you okay? Where are you? Hi. What? Uh, sorry, Benny, I can't hear you. Something's wrong with the line. Calling from public phone. Coming back tonight. Coming home tonight? Okay, Benny, uh, what happened? I was so worried about. Hello? Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Is Benny okay? He hung up on me. He hung up on me. You owe me eight hours of sleep. <laughs> so good old Benny is safe and sound. Nothing to worry about, right, Ma? You better go and talk to her. You bet. I'll clean my desk for her. Hi, I hope I'm not late. Um, no, you're on time. Take a seat. How have you been? Okay. You want a drink? No, thanks. Okay, um, let me run through to this schedule with you. I have quite a full day, so you're going to be very busy. Okay. All um, right, later on, we're going to have a site visit. Hey, I saw this place got a pretty bad online review. Oh, I'm handling it. It's my fault. I couldn't take my mind off Benny. <laughs> so you have no idea of his whereabouts? Oh, I just heard from him. He's coming back tonight. Oh, cool. Can't wait to see him so I can strangle him. Does he know that we were engaged before? I'm just curious. I guess I never got around to telling him. I was thinking you don't want Benny to know about us in case you got the wrong idea. Especially now that you're in bed with me. Business-wise. <laughs> well, tonight I will set the record straight with him. You want to get started? Yep. So, Christine's totally knocked out, huh? <laughs> a combination of painkillers and tiredness. Yeah, you want me to... No, 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 no. Let her sleep. Okay. Do you remember how to change a diaper? Huh. Well, from now on, you can look forward to plenty of sleepless nights. <laughs> look at Aaron, so tiny and vulnerable. It's going to be a big responsibility. You'll be fine. It's like riding a bicycle. Missing him already. Your baby's gonna be okay. Christine needs you here. I wish I were as calm as you. <laughs> What's that? Oh, hmm. This is Violet's present for Dumbi. Oh, my goodness. Mm. What a remarkable work of art. What is it? <laughs> it's a cord. He can sleep in there. <laughs> I think she really wants to see him. <laughs> oh, I can bring her now. Hmm? Well, Chris is resting now anyway. I'll go get Violet. Uh, you try and get some rest too. Huh? Thanks, Dan. I really appreciate it. I warn you, uh, don't get mushy with me. <laughs> 
I haven't spoken to Pa yet, mm -hmm. but I was just thinking about the same design as the other display cabinets. Same materials and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe at this corner. Sure, no problem. Let me take some measurements. Mm -hmm. Sarah? Sarah, where are you? Uh, I was looking around. You're not here to shop. Your job is to assist me. Sorry. When I'm with a client, you're also part of the meeting. And now I have to repeat the whole conversation with you. Is that efficient? No. Remember that, okay? Pass me the measuring tape, please. <laughs> Dominic, you're here. Hi, Auntie. Who oh, are always so hardworking. Eh, hey, give Geraldine a break can. Look at her, so tired. Every night she can't sleep properly because of Benny. Ayo, the bed is so big without him. Ma, why aren't you at Swatao? I am off. I can be here the whole day to help you out. Ma, can manage? Let me attend to your customer. You relax, sit down, do your computer work. Uh, Dominic, can help us stop our lunch? Buy something for yourself also. Sure. <laughs> After that, our last stop is a flat at Block 388. Um, the client wants to do new cupboards for his bedrooms. He's very fussy. He even wants a specific type of door hinge. OK, I'll take notes. We will end quite late. He's only able to meet us around 6.30. Is that OK with you? Sure. Good. Oh, you're going Pilates? Oh, Cindy wants you to join her. It's such a good mom you are. Hey, you give me a shock first, like you. <laughs> Do you have any hobbies? Besides carpentry, that's like a hobby of yours, right? At first, but now it's a job. Oh, so you don't have any projects that you do for fun? Uh, work takes up most of my time. I guess that's life, right? Yep, that's life. Lunch is here. <sighs> Jerry, I'm late. I'm going to go home. That's okay. You can always catch up with her tomorrow. Oh, she's sure to be off tomorrow. Benny is coming back this evening. She didn't tell you? Yeah, she mentioned. I oh, finally they can be together again. Benny is a good husband. When Jerry wanted her own place, he said okay. Then she said, life will be easier if I live at home. He said, no problem, I'll move in. I oh, so sweet. Benny seems like a nice guy, and it's a relief to know he's okay. For a while there, I thought he bought out on Jerry because she's working with her ex fiance. Maybe there are unresolved feelings. Bye, Auntie. Enjoy your lunch. Bye. Aaron? What's up, baby? Alex? Alex? Hey. Is Aaron with you? Aaron's in the hospital. He's fine, okay? He's fine. I am losing it. Hey, get back in bed. You're exhausted. I just want to sit up for a while. Okay, for 10 seconds, and then get him back in bed. We need some hot water and a heat pack. You hungry? You need something? I just want you to hold me. Come here. I miss you so much. Break's over. Let's go. You, Sarah? What are you up to tonight? Nothing much. See you at the usual place then. Catch you later. Your friends? Yeah. Don't hang out with them. They're trouble. They're my friends. Just listen to me. You don't get to tell me what to do. Who do you think you are? My mother? Hey, Sarah. So it's all good. Benny will be back soon. I don't know if it's going to be all good. I think I have to tell him. Tell him what? That Dominic and I were once engaged. You still haven't told him? I was afraid Benny would freak out. I didn't think it was a big deal. I thought Dominic and I were completely over, but... But, but what? Dominic still has feelings for me. 
my God. Look, it's now or never. Don't let Benny hear it from anyone else but you. Yeah, but... <sighs> He's going to be so suspicious every time I have a meeting with Dominic. Then have the meeting at your shop. In broad daylight and end it at 5pm sharp. Like I don't know that. Oh, I know what I'm talking about, okay? It's the secret to a successful marriage. I call it the rules of three. Be open, be honest, and don't keep secrets. And if you have to come up with a lie, rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Hey, what's with you? So, you know the mom I was like so desperately looking for? Is it Lin? No way. She's your real mother. Your birth mother. She was like right under my nose the whole time. And I automatically scam her into admitting it. That's like such an idiot. You're definitely not the idiot here. I thought I saw you guys talking. She was giving me a lecture. The first time you're seeing each other as mother and daughter, and she rips into me. Your friends are a bad influence, Sarah. Don't hang out with them. They're bad for you. She's acting like your mother. That's the weird thing. So I'm interning for her, right? She was all like, I'm the boss, you gotta follow my rules. Then she suddenly got all naggy on me. I don't know what she wants from me. Well, what about you? What do you want from her? So you don't like it when she treats you like one of her staff? And you don't like it when she necks you like a child? Sorry, I got nothing. Today was such a confusing day. You're her daughter. So be her daughter. I don't know if I can. I mean, I don't know how. See, that's the thing. Maybe you're expecting too much from her. You can't really get mad at her when you don't know for sure what you want from her. I have to worry, he's such a grown man. Ready? Oh, you're back! Ayo! What happened? Hey, come, come, come. Come sit down. Jardine, Benny is back! Careful, careful. Benny? Benny! What? Oh my god! What happened to you? Did you get into a fight? I ran into a wild ball. Huh? huh? Did you say a wild ball? Yeah, it was somewhere between Patu Pahat and Skudai. I was on a hike to clear my head and... Wait, wait, wait. Hike? You're not even the hiking type. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? Crazy. Very crazy. So, I ran into the wild ball, face to face, okay? But I was then calm. I was cool and calm. I smiled in the ball and I said, Hello, I'm just passing through. And yeah, then chased me. I lost my phone, I lost my water bottle, I lost all the durians that I bought for you all. I was this close to losing my life. Oh my goodness, oh, so scary. That's what heck of a story. Hiking. Hey, you got no brain, is it? Huh? You think with your backside, is it? I... Whole house so worried about you. And you still got time to buy durian. Sorry, Pa. It's okay. Go and wash up. <sighs> so glad you're home now. Very bulky. Hi. It's over room, Watson. You need a tongue thing, sing about. Feeling better? <sighs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Violet's out like a light. <laughs> <laughs> she must have been very excited to see yeah, Tambi. Yeah. I heard you couldn't wait to bring Violet to the hospital. She made a special gift for him. How could I turn her to sad puppy eyes? <laughs> She's got you wrapped around her little finger. Stop falling for those sad puppy eyes. Hey, she got them from you, huh? I know that look. Uh, Alex, my back hurts. I need a back rub. <laughs> it hurts here, and here, and here. Woof! <laughs> oh, oh. oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You okay? No. <laughs> Where have you been? And why didn't you answer your phone? Your battery died and I was just chilling at the park. 
With those gangster friends of yours, I presume. Has the flame been talking to you? Listen, Sarah. I was too eager for you two to get together. Do you think so? Because I wasn't expecting her to boss me around all day. It was too much too soon. Perhaps you should get to know Evelyn as a person first. Just let it happen naturally. It doesn't have to be so complicated. I guess that could work. Good night, Grandma. Night, night, sweetie. So, how are things at the Hati Tingkat? Uh, I have something to tell you. Dominic and I used to be engaged. There's nothing between us, okay? We are just business partners. I trust you. Did you really go on a hike? <gasps> the journey was so boring, man. When the bus stopped at the rest area, I got down and I started walking through the jungle. It felt good just to clear my head. Then, I ran into the wild war. You must have encroached into his territory. <sighs> must be. It was huge, okay? I ran like man, I called you. A wild boss is attacking me! A wild boss is attacking me! Ah, no answer! How can? No network! Then, I slipped and fell, and next thing I knew, the wild boss jumped on me! And my phone flew off to I don't know where. Oh my goodness. How did you fight it off? That's the amazing thing. I was in such a panic that I ran one big circle back into the boss' home. And there are durians there. So I took one and I hit it on the head. He screamed, I screamed. Uh, you scream? Yeah, durians, right? Do you see? So many holes. Anyway, so I ran and ran and ran all the way back to the causeway. <sighs> Tell you, it's gonna be some time before I eat tells you again, man. <sighs> Where's Benny? Sleeping, eh? He's still recovering from his hike. So weak. Ah, he just got chased all over Johor by a wild boar. Eh, very fierce, you know or not? <laughs> What's so funny? Are you laughing at Benny? I'm sorry. I keep picturing him running away from that wild boar. Those things are scary. I'm surprised he didn't get eaten by the boar. <laughs> hey. If the ball is Benny, he should sure vomit. <laughs> this guy is all skinny and burnt. <laughs> it's a waste of time. <laughs>